the appointment. You know, I was really counting on that, that money to get me through during this COVID. Unemployment insurance benefits helped a disabled veteran catch up on bills until he got a shocking letter in the mail. He joins the ranks of people who make up millions of dollars in overpayments across the state. Fox Antonio's problem solver Darian Trotter went straight to the unemployment office for an explanation. I don't want to have to pay back those benefits. That's going to put me in a bind. After months of getting unemployment checks, Michael Benavidez is on the hook to pay back $3,000. I don't think I should have to pay it back. It's not fair. The disabled vet believes there's been a mistake. The letter explaining the overpayment says the reason he's required to pay back is because he quit his job modifying aircraft interiors. That's not true. I, I have a letter stating that I lost my job due to COVID. He showed us the letter from his employer. The tough decision to close the business was based in part on the pandemic, the economy, and the grounding of the 737 MAX aircraft. That was the only job doing that type of work in the area, so it was a little bit of uncertainty for me. Benavidez lost his job right before closing on his new home. Unemployment was helping him to make ends meet. He's the latest to question why he's being asked to repay benefits. We asked Texas Workforce Commission why people are being overpaid in the first place. There's a lot of moving parts to this puzzle and that's what determines the payment amount. James Burnson says TWC is trying to meet demand while balancing the effort to send the right amount of money quickly. And sometimes in order to pay for them quickly, you have to put in the information you have and then later information may change that. Right now in Texas, there are 252,000 overpayment claims for regular unemployment insurance. The total amount the state seeks to reclaim is $315 million. Out of $37 billion in payments to Texans, only 0.8% have resulted in error. It was kind of a disappointment. You know, I was really counting on that, that money to get me through during this COVID. State Rep-elect Liz Campo said in a statement, this is not the time to stress families out even more by sending them very questionable overpayment notices. There will be time to identify bad actors. At this moment, the focus must be 100% on helping people. I just want them to notice the mistake they made, fix it, and uh, don't let it happen again. Darian Trotter, Fox News at 9. And Jose Menendez has filed legislation to make sure errors by the Texas Workforce Commission don't burden other citizens. Meanwhile, the TWC has agreed to review Benavides's case. And of course, we will keep you posted on this story. Our problem solver is here to help you. Just call our tip line 210-476-1099 or email us at problemsolver at foxsanantonio.com. And you can also reach out to Darian directly on social media.